So welcome back to this video series all about the StockSync Shopify app and how to set up automatic inventory management for your Shopify store. So this is number two in the video series. And if you missed the first video, I highly recommend you check it out. I'll link to it in the info cards above as well as the description below this video. But in video number one, we went over exactly what StockSync is as well as who the app is for and how to set up that first initial feed. So in this second video, we're going to be going through how to add in new products with guided field mapping, which is a really cool function that I'm excited to share with you. So let's go ahead and hop into my screen and get started now. So we are in the back end of my Shopify store now, and I am under the apps area in the left hand side, and then I'm going to click on stock sync to go into the actual app. So now we are in the back of the app and you can see here that we have this import feed that we had set up before. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually add in a new feed. So we're going to go to set up new feed. And what we're going to do is we're going to update our products based on our CSV file that we're going to upload again, and it's going to have an updated quantity to it. So before we came in and we hit add product, so, and that required different credits. Now we're gonna be doing the update product, which you need to subscribe to the monthly plan to do the update feed, and the credits are just for adding or removing products which you can do either here or here in their different links. So we're going to do update product. And we are not with any of these providers, so we're just gonna hit start new. So this is the same process as before, at least initially. So for connection method, there's a number of them here to do, but we're gonna keep that at upload file and continue to upload our own file. We're also going to keep the file format as CSV and the comma separator right here, the column separator as a comma, sorry. And then we're going to do this first row is a header and that's based on our Excel spreadsheet file. So you can see here again, once we go to it, this whole first row is a header, which is telling you exactly what the different columns are. And then we'll just hit next. So now we need to go in and we need to match the settings so that everything is updating correctly. So if we go back to our Shopify store, I want to show you real quick what we're editing and we click on products. If you scroll down, you can see our test products here that we uploaded in the last video. And you can see that there's 10 in stock for each. So if we go to our Excel spreadsheet file, you can see here that we have changed the quantity and we're wanting to update this quantity in our store. So we're going to go back to the StockSync app now. So to make this process a lot easier on us, we're going to use this guided field mapping. So this is what we used in the first tutorial for setting up all of the products. And I'm just gonna select the update field or the update file that I had but it's going to let us quickly be able to match different items to it. So the first one that we're going to match is our SKU field, which we can see here as SKU. And this just makes it a lot easier to sync up everything. So you can use the guided field mapping for new product imports that you're doing or if you're updating existing ones. So we're wanting to add in the field of quantity. So we're going to hit add field because the quantity field is really the only one that we are updating. So we're gonna do quantity and we're going to choose it from the list here as well. So you can see here with the quantity field, there are some additional settings here if we click into it, like quantity rules. So we are going to be going over this in a lot more depth in the next video, all about setting up quantity and pricing rules and conditions so that you can better manage your products. You can see here that there are a few different options of if you want to add or deduct it 
from your current store inventory instead of overriding it, or if you wanna make it to where it does not go to non-negative values. So we don't need to edit any of this now. And so now we've got everything set up. Now again, if you're wanting to adjust different things other than the quantity, you could just hit this add field and you could add in the other options that you have as well. So if you're wanting to adjust the price, the compare at price, all of these different items, you can go in and do that as well, but we're just going to keep it at just the quantity field. So we're gonna hit next. So if we just scroll back up here, we can see the additional options that you have for some advanced settings. Now we don't need to do any of these currently with what we're trying to do um, in terms of auto publishing, auto hiding. It's also prompting us with this warning message that it could change the quantity to zero if it was unmatched with the SKU. However, that was that first step that we did in the guided field mapping, so we we're all good there. And we're just gonna hit done. Now we're going to then you know, make sure that that's checked, that we do wanna process this immediately after uploading it. And I'm just going to click in here. Now, I believe that this is the file that we have added in. However, I just wanna check because it's getting cut off. So I'm just going to double check and add that in from my desktop. And now that I've uploaded it, it is now queuing where before it said processing. And the timeline on this really depends on the amount of products that you have that you're updating, as well as the system and their servers of how many people are running these kinds of tasks. So it really varies time to time, but you can click on the home area and you can see the status of your feed here. So you can see here that it says update feed and that it's queuing. And this was our original one, which was an upload file. So we'll wait just a second and get that to update so we can see it in our Shopify store. Okay, so now we can see that our file just finalized and we can see here that it updated three products. And if we go to our Shopify store and let's refresh the page. So this is again in our back end of Shopify under products that you can see over here. So we want to make sure that it has come in correctly. So before these were all set up as 10 quantity, and now we can see here that the gray's been updated to four and the white has been updated to eight. So you can use this process, if we go back to the stock sync app, you can use this process in terms of updating your existing products. And the really cool thing is, is that you can actually update products that were not initially imported by StockSync. So if you had products before you added in the app, you can actually still run updates on them. And it's a really cool way to edit all of your products all together and make sure that it's done automatically and very quickly instead of going through. So right now in my store, I don't have that many products, but if you had a store that had a couple hundred, that would be really time consuming to go in and edit everything. So this definitely simplifies the whole process. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because we have two more videos in this series all about the StockSync app and how to set it up and get it working for your Shopify store.